Manchester United continued their shocking home record in Europe this season after defeat to Athletic Bilbao. Wayne Rooney gave the Premier League side the lead after 22 minutes, but Fernando Llorente's goal on the stroke of half-time levelled the match. Oscar de Marcos then slotted his side ahead after a well-worked move before Iko Munayane's 90th minute third. But a Rooney penalty two minutes later gave Sir Alec Ferguson's side hope ahead of next Thursday's second leg. Well, it's an uphill fight for us, obviously, but the question is, can we win the match? I think we can win the match over there. I think that, obviously, I'm going to assess um, our games because it's, we're finding it maybe difficult to marry the two competitions together, Thursday and Sundays. Um, a little bit more difficult than the normal European Championships. But, um, the Champions League, sorry. I would think we can win the game okay. United's arch rivals Manchester City also saw their hopes of securing European glory dented after a narrow defeat at Sporting Lisbon. On loan Brazilian defender Zandão netted the game's only goal, back healing past Joe Hart six minutes after half time. Sporting dominated the second period, but were fortunate not to concede late on when Mario Balotelli hit the bar. Elsewhere, Valencia beat PSV Eindhoven, but the Dutch side are still in the tie thanks to two late strikes. Victor Ruiz put Valencia ahead before goals from Roberto Soldado and Pablo Piatti put the Spaniards four up in the second half. But goals in the last seven minutes by Ole Toivonen and Jorginho Wijnaldum gave the Dutch side hope ahead of the second leg. Another league aside, Atletico Madrid were also winners, beating Turkish side Besiktas. Two Eduardo Salvio goals in the space of three second-half minutes put them in the driving seat before Adrian added a third. But former Atletico captain Simao gave the visitors hope for the second leg with a late strike. Atletico have now lost just once in 12 matches under new coach Diego Simeone. Elsewhere, Eredivisie leaders AZ beat Udinese in the Netherlands. Dutch counterparts Twente defeated Bundesliga high flyer Schalke. Another German side, Hanover, drew at Standard Liège, and Olympiakos won 1-0 at Ukrainian side Metlist.